Larger Excel documents don't just contain data on single worksheets, but perhaps can contain data across multiple worksheets. Open in front of you, I've got the example file that comes with this course. It's called Excel 102 Exercises. And I'm currently looking at the summary worksheet you can see down below. This summary worksheet has got a simple little table, two columns, a town and a circulation. Circulation currently being empty. The data that I want to fill into the circulation column comes from the three sheets to the left. 2013 contains a very similar table, towns, circulation numbers, same with 2014 and same with 2015. All the same towns but different circulations for different years. So now what I want to do here with all of this data is summarize it all into one spot right here on the circulation or excuse me on the summary tab. Now we're going to actually see this done with two methods. The first one we're going to utilize a technique here called 3D formulas. Essentially we're going to create a formula that goes to other worksheets. Typically when you think of summing up a group of numbers you just think of creating a formula on one worksheet and referencing cells on that same worksheet. Well here we're going to perform a mathematical operation, just do some addition, but we're going to reference cells in different worksheets. This is a 3D reference or a 3D formula. Take a look. So I'm currently on the summary sheet. I'm going to go up to cell B4. This is where I want to create the calculation. I want to sum up the circulation numbers for the town of Beverly. So I'll go to B4. I'm going to create a formula. What do you start formulas with? I'm going to type in an equals and then I'm going to click on 2013 and if I look up at the top in my formula bar I can now see equals 2013 and it's super excited it's got an exclamation mark. Ding! I'm now referencing within my formula the sheet called 2013. Now what do I want to get from this sheet? Ooh, Well I want to get the circulation for Beverly so I'll go to B4. There it is. I'm referencing worksheet 2013, cell B4. Now what do I want to do? What type of math am I performing here? Well, I want to do some addition. So I'm going to hit the plus sign. Now I need to get the next bit of data. So I need to go to 2014. Look at your my formula bar. I'm now referencing sheet 2014. And I'll get cell B4, which is the circulation for Beverly. And I need to do this one more time. Hit my plus sign. I'm going to go to 2015, grab Beverly's circulation, got my complete formula now, 2013, 14, and 15, all cells before, I'm done. I'm going to hit my enter key, I'm back on the summary sheet, and I've got my grand total for all three years for the town of Beverly. What is that? 3,245,998. A simple calculation just branching across multiple worksheets. Try this out. Create a formula on the summary sheet. Go up to cell B4, type in the equal sign, and then it's just click. Click on 2013, grab the proper cell. Hit your plus sign because you're doing some addition. Go to 2014, grab the proper cell, and continue the process. Try getting it for each of the towns here. Practice it a little bit. Just get it comfortable building formulas that span across multiple worksheets.